Is the optimism that so many people are sharing based on science, or do you believe it's essentially political? We've just heard three of the party, three of the leaders, Wales, uh, Scotland, and uh, and the UK, sounding optimistic. I think the optimism is, is soundly based, that, that we're in a much better position than if, if Omicron had hit us, you know, last year or the year before. Much better place because of these things I've just been mentioned. That doesn't mean to say that there won't be some very sad cases, that hospitals are under an enormous amount of pressure. We knew that anyway. They're always under pressure at this time of year anyway. So what's new about that? Uh, let's hope they don't come under even more pressure because of COVID cases being ill enough to go into intensive care. And that's the big question. That's the outstanding data that we really need to see. We haven't seen too much of the um, spillover of the virus into the elderly, causing them to be driven into intensive care. Let's hope that continues. And let's hope that most of those people have had their boosters. And let's hope that gives them as good a protection as we think it, it should do. Yeah. The optimism can always run the risk of breeding complacency. So what are the key things that you hope that most folk out there will continue to do even over this festive period? Well, yes, and, and they have been basically being very, very cautious. They haven't been going anywhere near as much as shopkeepers would like into their premises. Um, and, and events, clearly many events, have been cancelled. And that's not due to, um, you know, the, the heavy hand of the government. That's due to people just behaving um, as they have done for quite a long time, being sensible, using their common sense to saying, I don't want to catch this bloody awful virus. And um, the one thing I can do, apart from having the vaccine, which is by far the most important thing, is having this sort of personal kind of social distancing and all that kind of thing, which is going to also have an effect in reducing the uh, impact of the virus. Um, even although we know the virus is doing extremely well, it's buzzing around uh, at an unprecedented rate, it's still, because of its um, track record in not being as nasty, I think we're going to perhaps get away without having any more lockdowns.